皆さん、こんにちは。Japanese Beginners。Japanese Beginners is a board developed category A subject that is worth two units and goes towards a student's ATAR. The Japanese Beginners course is for those students who have studied Japanese in year eight as part of their 100 hours. It is not for those students who have studied Japanese as an elective in years nine and ten. For students who have studied Japanese in years nine and ten, the Japanese Continuous course is for them. And a separate video has been created for parents and students. Why study a language? Well, the answer to this is often why wouldn't you want to study a language? In year eight, students study Japanese. This was a rigorous course, and many students rose to the challenge and did very well. The Japanese Beginners course would very well suit these students with the background of the Japanese that they have from year eight. Apart from this, languages are important in our society and offer us. Many opportunities. There are opportunities in employment. Employers are often seeking employees who have a variety of skills and are able to speak, write, and understand a language. Japanese is a very attractive skill in the workforce. There are many opportunities with universities. Many universities have relationships with universities in Japan and often offer opportunities for students to study part of their degree in Japan. There are opportunities in the travel and tourism industry. We are optimistic about our recovery from the COVID 19 crisis, and in this recovery, there will be industries that will need people skilled in languages, and Japanese is one of those important languages in the tourism sector. Lastly, studying a language will give you so many opportunities in life to be able to do new things and meet different people. Universities in Australia have seen the value of learning a foreign language. And also recognise the fact of how difficult this can be. Many universities offer bonus points for those students who receive a band 5 or band 6 in their results. These bonus points raise the student's ATAR, giving students an even better chance of getting into a course they wish to study. Each university has their own way of providing bonus points, and I encourage those students who are thinking of a particular university for the future to have a look at what they offer in regard to bonus points. The Japanese Beginners course is broken up into three areas interacting, understanding texts, and producing texts. To develop these skills, students will study the following topics the personal world and the Japanese speaking communities. This is further broken down into subtopics family life, home and neighbourhood, people, places, and communities, education and work, friends, recreation and pastimes, holidays, travel and tourism, future plans and aspirations. The aim is for students to get to a level that they can feel quite confident in. The way Japanese is assessed is assessing the four macro skills speaking, writing, listening, and reading. In regard to speaking, in the HSC, students will participate in a five minute conversation with an examiner. There is a written paper, and in this paper, students are assessed on their listening, reading, and writing skills. In regard to how the course is sequenced at St. Patrick's College, Many students are already at an advantage of the work that they've completed in year eight. We start with the scripts, looking at hiragana and katakana, which is very much revision for students. We then look at the basic structures that they would have learnt in year eight. This then quickly follows on with the personal world topics, and then into the Japanese speaking community topics in year 12. The Japanese beginners course is taught by very experienced teachers. These are teachers who have taught the course for many years. They have marked the HSC. They have delivered HSC workshops to Year 12 students at universities. They are teachers who have developed resources and technology that is used in other schools. As mentioned before, there are a lot of opportunities that studying a language like Japanese gives. At St. Patrick's College, students will have the opportunity to participate in incursions, excursions, and we are looking into a possible overseas trip in December of 2021. This, however, depends very much on whether or not a COVID 19 vaccine is produced. We will also investigate the opportunities students will have at universities, in employment, and in travel. Students at St. Patrick's College who have graduated after studying a language often comment that studying a language was a gift. It is something they've been able to take away. It has had a positive impact on their lives and provided them with many different opportunities. If you would require any other further information or have any questions, please make sure to contact Mr. Julian Nash. Domo arigato gozaimashita.